is Kyle Betty out of Locust, North Carolina. Row number five on the inside. The number eight car coming out Newton, New Jersey. It's Mike Alcaro. And the outside of Alcaro is the number seven M car. That is Tim, I'm sorry, Tony Mangini out of Benicia, California. Row number six on the inside from North Carolina. The number 83 car, Joey Padgett. They have North Carolina. I believe he's out of Tallahassee, Florida, though. Could be wrong on that. Regardless, to the outside is the seven car. And that is Hunter Lewis out of Moss Point, Mississippi. I believe our lone Mississippi representative here at the Legend Nationals. Final row on the racetrack from right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. It is Peyton Saxton in the number 10 car. And is outside from Albuquerque, New Mexico, the number nine of Jason Irwin. That is your starting lineup for the Pro Race of Champions. Green action in the starter stand. That means we are underway as we kick them loose down the front straightaway in turn number one and two. Instantly go three wide for the race lead. Big move to the outside for Baden Heskett. Heskett's going to be your race leader as the 0 7 car is shuffled back through the field. He says, Holy smokes, what just happened there? I was ambushed. He's down through three and four. They go. Your race leaders pass on through up front. It is Heskett trying to run away and hide. The battle taking place for the number two spot. Three car, Wayne Barlock. Right back there, molesting the back bumper of William Clemens on that entrance in turn number one and two. Didn't work out so well for him as he's already shuffled back to fourth. Looking at fifth before it's all said and done is the 51 of Cal Betty's trying to get through. Deep in the field. Racers hustling out of the corner. A couple racers opting not to come out and run into pro race. A champion saving her car for tomorrow. Jason Irwin, one of them. Peyton Saxton, the 10 car, also not out here running into pro division. So both of them waving off the race of champions to save their uh, equipment for tomorrow. Tonight, just a race for a trophy. So here comes the challenge for the race lead. Heskett to the outside. Clemens in the 15 car. Peeking down the inside. It's going to take over the number one position. And you look at that. Nicholas, the number 40 car, is going to follow along for the ride. He'll inherit the number two spot as they work to the inside of Baden Heskett. Heskett was quick out of the gate, but now finds himself being challenged all over the place as here comes a two-wide battle behind. That battle taking place for the number four position on the racetrack, although that is decided. The 83 of Joey Padgett, what I have is Tallahassee, Florida, for his home state. Working his way up into the number three spot with the 83 card. He's not done yet. He's just going to keep hammering at it. The 83 card down the back straightaway goes to the inside of Nicholas in the number 40. He's looking for second coming out turn number four, but he's not going to find it. The 40 card just a tad too quick. William Clemens, the third right there, right back to the inside of the number 40 car. He's going to snag that race lead away and prop open the door momentarily, but not enough for the 83 car to capitalize. They again cross back and forth. The 40 car back down the inside. The Squilla in the number 40 car. He's going to be back in the number three, maybe four spots. The 51 comes up with the assist. So we'll give him a little kick in the keister right there on that entrance into turn number three as the 51 car's got place to go and things to do. Kyle Betty pedaling for all he's worth. Peaks to the inside of Joey Padgett. There's Padgett out tight to the wall. We'll allow the 51 car and everybody else to pedal on through. And unfortunately, the 83 car off the pace. Something breaks on the 83 car. He's going to coast her around here and take her down pit side. If he has enough momentum, and I believe he will. So 83 car is out of the mix. Joey Padgett. Calls it a night on the race of champions. Not calling a night. The 51 T cars. He works down the inside. Here comes Kyle. Now to turn number four, your new race leader. Number 20 cars going to go side by side down the inside. Cole Butcher has battled his way up through and now throws his hat into the mix. Butcher in the number 20 car. One of our Canadian runners works in the number two spot right now. And now Porter's Lake, Nova Scotia. That's a long way to come. Out here to race the boring. 
Norris and talk to him tomorrow down in the pit area somewhere as he works in the number two spot looking for a race win here in this race of champions for the pro division. And Butcher's going to cross down the inside, poke the nose up in, grab some binder, give him some room down the inside. Didn't quite make the move and thought better of it. We'll try her one more time. Here comes Butcher. Score him into number one spot out of turn number two and down the back straightaway along with William Plemons the third as he's going to take over the number two spot keeping that 51 to the outside. Cal Betty had challenged his way up through the field, got the number one spot and then was a sitting duck and right now they're trying to pick him off one at a time. 40 cars not yet out of the mix either. Nor is the number seven of Tony Mangini. Mangini had started deep in the field. He goes three wide for the number two spotter. Thought momentarily of as we hustle down through the corner and we got a bad fast pace taking place out here right now. Lap number 14 that time across the stripe. We've got just six laps remaining in this pro race of champions. As Mangini working from third on the field in the number seven car up front running and gunning for all he's worth. Cole Butcher is trying to take this little trophy back to Canada. Now the turn number two and down the back shoot he goes. Clemens still holding down the number two spot. Mangini running third on the field. The 51 car is starting to battle his way back up through again. As Kyle is working to the inside, the number 40 car, he'll pick off the number four spot. Mangini looking for second right now on the turn number two and down the back straightaway. Here comes the challenge the inside. He'll take it deep into turn number three. Can he make it happen? He's trying ever so desperately. Can't quite get the job done, though. Man, that the 15 car, William Plemons III, rolls through the corner like nobody's business. That's where his speed is found. Straightaway speed, not quite as much as Mangini behind. You see Mangini close the gap on him, but Mangini cannot hang with Plemons through the corner. He has got a handling machine underneath of him. Not quite as good as Cole Butcher up front. We just crossed over for lap number 18. He's going to see the white flag the next time by Butcher. Right now, well out in front of the field. 1.4 second lead that last time across. As here comes Mangini down the inside of Plemons. Finally able to challenge. We'll hold him out to the outside. But watch Plemons out of turn number four. Good run for the number 15 car. As he's still scored that number two spot by six thousandths of a second over Mangini. Mangini will finally seal the deal. Down the back straightaway. White flag is flown. Checkered flag this time coming out for Cole Butchers. He's going to pick up the win. Nova Scotia runner gets to take that baby back to Canada just like he planned all along. Second position is going to go to Tony Mangini. William Plemons the third will finish out in third. Cal Betty fourth. Nick Lasquilla will finish out in that number five spot. So up front it is Cole Butcher, Porters Lake, Nova Scotia. Number 20 car picking up the win and headed towards victory lane for our our final Legends Race of Champions tonight, the Thunder Car Race of Champions, coming up next. Nick Lascola. Thank you. Now, well, Chet, he uh, seemed to check out right around lap 11 and never looked back. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Cole Butcher. Now, Cole, you're from Nova Scotia.